This is Lakasushi Swimming Pool. Every year, people flock here to take photos and bathe in the crystal clear waters. This vibrant blue green can't be seen anywhere else in Taiwan. It's also much warmer. Even in the winter, the water is a pleasant temperature. It's the best swimming pool in all of southern Taiwan. But why is it so warm? And where does this beautiful color come from? The original Lakasushi Swimming Pool was formed in 2017 with the construction of a dam about 500 meters further up than the current one. This was immediately popular when I first posted it four years ago, and it became one of the most visited pages on my website, until heavy rains filled it in later that same year. Let's have a moment of silence for the La Camisa swimming pool. The dam that currently holds the pool now was also completely destroyed in 2017 as well, and had to be rebuilt with a different design. When the first stage was finally completed in 2019, a much larger lake formed behind it. This one felt much more natural because it was behind the dam instead of under it, and it was everyone's favorite swimming spot until the plum rains filled it up with gravel later that year. Much of this gravel was actually not native to the river and had been transported there to build an access road to the water source up the valley. The second stage of the dam was finally finished at the end of 2020, and a brand new swimming pool formed below it. This is currently the best place to swim in the south, with its silky green water and comfortable temperature, but it's only going to last until the next heavy rain. Four kilometers upstream from this swimming pool lies Fushing Hot Spring, a boiling hot hot spring that's hot enough to cook eggs in. It's a popular place to soak and relax. Water spews from this hot spring and flows into the river beside it. Many people believe this is the source of the minerals which color the river and coat the rocks along the way. But this isn't actually the case, and the evidence for this is clear by the uncolored river beside it. These waters are quite clear, and the river here is cold. To find the real source of this unique color, we actually have to go a kilometer back downstream. Here, 250 meters above the riverbed, we find a deep lake, several hectares in size, that was formed by a massive landslide during Typhoon Maracot in 2009. The skeleton trees that poke through the surface of the water are a testament to how fast the lake formed and how deep the lake really is. These photos were taken in the dry season. The lake can rise another 10 meters meters above where it is now. A stream runs out from this lake, and it carries with it water from the spring down the mountain to the Lakasushi River. This surface stream isn't the source of mineral deposits though. Like all rivers that flow over loose rocks, there's a hidden river underground. A portion of the water coming out of this mountain is not on the surface. It's flowing through the ground. And as it seeps through the hundreds of millions of tons of broken rock that make up this landslide, it leaches minerals from them. Pressure then forces it out through the shale below the mountain, carrying these mineral deposits with it. I suspect the gritty substance coating the rocks downstream of the landslide is mostly calcium carbonate. This crystallizes on the rocks downstream, painting the riverbed yellow and white, increasing the amount of light reflected off the bottom, and giving this river its iridescent glow. The water flowing out of the landslide also carries with it fine particles of rock that were ground into dust when the mountain collapsed on itself. These particles are so small that they stay suspended in the water and distort the wavelengths of light, reflecting back more in the green and blue end of the spectrum. Together, these two phenomena give the Lacassisha River its unique look, and they are also what's responsible for raising the water temperature. The minerals in the water lower its heat capacity and the sun does the rest. The result is that it takes less energy to heat up Lacassisha water than in other rivers, and so it heats up more from the sunlight during the day. It has nothing to do with the hot spring, which while indeed is very hot, contributes only a minuscule amount of heat compared to the total energy stored in the river itself. So there you have it. Science is what makes the Lakashi River so beautiful. Pretty cool stuff. Now would you jump into this beautiful river? If you like this content, please consider subscribing and supporting me in YouTube memberships or Patreon. You can also visit this place yourself. A detailed map can be found in the description. After you visit, you can share your experience on my brand new website, 68maps.com. It's a new social media platform for explorers, which allows us to map and share new discoveries, blog about our experiences, and keep track of the places we've been, and those that we want to go to. It's still under construction with new features being uploaded every week, but you can be the first to check it out and share photos of your amazing adventures. The link is in the description. Together we'll discover new places and fill in the blank spaces on the map.